the people welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan welcome back welcome back today is the final reveal of the front porch it looks amazing I'm super excited I'm waiting for it to get dark so I can film the final like the evening part of it for you guys but I know you're going to love it and I just want to thank y'all so much for just spending a little bit of time with me today if you are new I really hope you will consider subscribing and if you are a lifetime loyal welcome back welcome back I love y'all to the moon and back and I truly appreciate you all now let's hop into the video so beautiful people we're going to start at the beginning this is what the front porch looked like before I got started with it last year I had painted around the window black it was green as well but I painted around the window and this year I was like you know what I need to finish painting everything black so that was at the top of my list so here you're going to see me painting I believe these are called like soffits so I painted all of that black I'm going to paint around the door we're going to clean up and someone did ask me why I did not pressure wash the side of the house which I did try but my siding on my house is metal so it still had that dirty rust look so that is why I decided to spray paint it I did order some flowers faux flowers from Amazon we have an egg chair and then I'm about to show you all of the new decorations that we're going to get beautiful people I wanted to see what they had in Goodwill so I just dropped London off for her work training but I wanted to see what they had in here so beautiful people unfortunately the music was too loud so i had to do a quick little voiceover but i wanted to show you some of the things that they had at this goodwill now this was the smallest goodwill i have ever seen like as far as like space wise they didn't have a ton of stuff but i was really just looking for stuff to put on the front porch without spending a ton of money so i did see the unique like what is that a reindeer i did see this jug or vase which i actually got it was 9.99 and it was super super heavy guys so pretty and so heavy i don't know if someone made it or what i did pick up these two lanterns they were 5.99 a piece and you'll see me momentarily doing a quick little diy on them to make them fit in with the aesthetic but definitely don't sleep on like the goodwill red white and blue even facebook market i don't know if they still do like macari and different things like that where you can get inexpensive stuff and kind of diy it if you find something that is not the color that you're looking for you can always buy spray paint and spray paint it the color that you need it to be to start putting everything together decorate hang up some wall art it's super busy on my street right now so you'll see a lot of cars so i'm gonna add some music to this part and do a voiceover but i'm really excited to get things put back together i think i actually had another idea that so it's gonna take me another day or so to finalize everything it's okay it's okay but let's just start getting everything put back together and see how everything looks so far so i did wash the cushions for the seating part of it but I did not wash the pillow covers or the pillows for the back of the sectional because when I unzipped it it was just stuffing so I didn't want to take that out and then I get all messed up and you know you couldn't it won't look the same so what I'm going to try to do for next year is find pillow covers to go over it because this is my fault this is all my fault since I left the sectional out on the porch over the past winter and didn't cover it up and the elements and everything, it did fade a lot as well as a lot of the cushion inside of it kind of disintegrated. That's the best way to put it. So I'm just going to buy some cushion covers for next year and they'll probably be around the same color just so that I can keep everything, you know, the same basically or, or similar. So I will look into that. I'm pretty, pretty sure I can find that on Amazon if I look. So I did purchase this picture, which I'll give you a close up of it, but I purchased this picture from Burlington. It was $30 and it is a canvas piece of art, but it's almost like it's like stretch canvas maybe. So if rain or something gets on it, it's not going to, you know, melt or smear or anything like that. And the way my porch is set up, it stays pretty dry for the most part, like rain, it may rain. 
um, but the section on everything pretty much stays pretty dry so that area over there stays pretty dry so I'm not too worried about the artwork getting wet Now I need to get these planters together and I could not for the life of me find my gardening tools. <laughs> so the last time I used them was I think at the rental house if I'm not mistaken. So I couldn't find them and I did not want to run to the store and buy any more gardening tools. So I used to have I used to have plants or flowers in these flower pots. These are attached to the porch so I cannot pick these up. They are cement. They are heavy as, they, they don't move, put it that way. And so I did have flowers in here last year. Again, I forgot to water them, so they did all die. And on top of that, they got a ton of sun, so they ended up like burning up too, if you ask me. So here, I just used one of those 50 cent cups that we got from either Target or, I want to say I got that pink one from Target. They were 50 cent, and I just used that to scoop out some of the dirt. Now I'm putting these foam blocks in here just to give it some height and something for the faux flowers to stick into i did get these faux flowers from michael's and then the rest of them i got from amazon and these they're super pretty i'm gonna give you a close-up of the flowers but these were just five dollars per stem and so i was like you know what i love like the greenery of it i love it had little a little bit of pink at the top and I don't remember the name of them I apologize but here I'm going to stick the flowers into the pot then I'm going to add some moss to it and I'm actually going to have to pull the flowers out to fix the moss so you'll see and the second planter goes so much smoother but I love the way everything turned out guys when I tell you that it's absolutely stunning to me and it's going to last and then when it starts to get cold yes she's too much when it starts to get cold I will take everything out. I'm going to put it into a plastic bin, label it faux flowers, and then springtime comes around again, I'll pull them back out. So I may have to replace some of them if they kind of fade or whatever, but for the most part, they should last. So I really like these a lot, and I did link them in the Amazon storefront if you are interested. But again, I, I really like the way these turned out. Let me know down below if you use faux flowers on your porch. I know a lot of people don't, and a lot of people do. And this is my first year doing it. I think it turned out beautifully. And again, I don't have to worry about watering them. But the flowers that I have on the back porch that I got from Sam's, they are doing so wonderful. They're, they're, they're thriving. That's the best way to put it. They are thriving. I think they are gorgeous. So I did get this green moss from michaels as well i'm just going to add that in there to make it look as real as possible and again like i said i do go back and adjust this and i did add a few more stems of flowers in here which you'll see at the end So what I had to do was remove some of the stems because I had to adjust the moss. So moving forward, you're going to see me do this in the other planter, but I put down the foam blocks 
and then I'm going to put the moss on top and then I'm going to add the faux flowers and it turns out so much better I did go and fix this one the second one turned like I said it turned out much better but I'm gonna come back and adjust this a little bit more to make it look more realistic and everything is kind of seamless it just it looks so much better so again if you're interested in doing this even if you do it in a planter which I am going to be doing it in a couple planters you want to put the foam blocks in first and then you know if you're going to add moss or whatever you can do that I'm actually going to put some rocks in the planters to give it a little bit more weight so that it doesn't blow over if we have like a storm or something like that. So, but I do love the, I love this um, grass right here. I love it. The moss. It looks so, so real. And basically, I, I mean, I feel like it is, but anyway, it wasn't that expensive. I want to say it was like $18 at Michael's for a huge roll. And I did have some left over, but it filled up both of the planters. So now I'm getting ready to add the cushions onto the sectional and I just had to sweep off a few little things that have like blown onto the sectional just to make sure everything was nice and clean. 
I did, like I said, I did wash these bottom pieces, the cushions. So I'm going to add those back on. Then I'm going to add the pillows. I did purchase some pillow covers from Amazon, really inexpensive, but they do go very well with the picture. They pair very well with, with everything that's going on on the porch. And then I am going to just adjust those, make sure everything is nice and neat. And then I am going to clean off a little bit of the porch area, add some more flowers. I got a t just a few. I'm just excited. There's so much that I did to this porch. I hope I didn't overdo it. I don't think I did, but it just made me think like, what if I had a covered patio you know we're an enclosed patio this is like an extension of our home basically when i tell you that every single day the kids have been out here on this porch enjoying it today me and my mother came out here and we sat on the porch this morning at about nine in the morning guys and i'm not an early bird i am not an early bird but she usually wakes up about four o'clock in the morning anyway and so this morning i got up i had cooked breakfast for the kids and I'm, I'm not sure if i'm gonna show you that in this video but it'll be probably in the next video i cooked breakfast for the kids i made some coffee and we came out here me kensley my mom and my nephew and sat on the porch for like an hour guys and it was so beautiful it was the sun was shining it was so comfortable i loved it i loved it so here we have these cushions or well, these pillow covers i should say and they're very simple but they go with the the design of the front porch so my primary colors that i was going with was the tan the brown the like gold silver because i always mix metals and then just some gray basically and black of course and black um but that's pretty much it now the pillow covers are supposed to have like a hint of blue in there and you'll see that if you click on the amazon link it's supposed to have like a hint of blue to me it's more of gray um and that's fine with me because i wasn't really trying to do any big colors on here now the flowers i wanted the flowers to have a ton of colors but as you can see it has like the cream brown and gray those were the primary colors that i was going for on the porch and of course like i said the black because black is just it makes everything look better i do plan on going back and painting all of the brick black i didn't do it this time because i want to have someone come and um seal in like that porch crack you'll see the crack in the porch bricks when i show you like the overall look of the porch and i want to have someone just come and fill that in and then i'm going to paint that black because i want my house to be all white and black so you'll see that hopefully i can get it done um very soon i just have to find the right person to come and do it but anyway so i'm using the pillows that i already had i had four brand new pillow covers and that was all we really needed and then i just used one of the two of the pillows that we already had so i'm going to clean up the moss that had fallen on the ground or on the porch when i was doing the planters and then we're going to go from there Nothing beats it when you call my name My love is deeper with every day You're a keeper, baby, worth the wait You got the sparkle in your eyes Making all the other guys stop and stare But you'll be moving on Baby, every time we touch Makes my heart beat
time we touch makes my heart beat on a rush can't believe that i'm the I did spray paint the banister. Now the first coat on the banister was hand painted. The second coat I did the spray paint because I had some of that left. And yeah, a little bit did get on the porch, but not much guys, not much. And the kids were over there playing, <laughs> playing with the hose. One of the twins friends came over, super cute. And they played on the hose, they jumped on the trampoline. They had them a good time guys, they had them a good time. And I just let them play, go ahead have you a ball that's what that's that's one of the things that sold me on the house was having an outdoor area for the kids to play as well as being close to the things that we like to do being close to work and so forth so I'm very glad that they were having a good time I do have a pool I just didn't put it out yet but that is next because like I said I do want to um, do a project on the yard and that's coming up you know it's just me and my kids basically so in time so here like I said I did get a few things from the Goodwill so here is that vase and we are going to spray paint these lanterns and I got this lantern as well I think that one was $8.99 if I'm not mistaken I did get a wreath and you'll see that wreath on the front door and these stools these black stools I got those for three dollars and fifty cents from the Goodwill they were three dollars and fifty cents a piece so Gianni and London helped me spray paint the lanterns. They just loved using the spray paint, guys. That's what it was all about. They wanted to do that. So I didn't mind at all because I just wanted them to be all black anyway. So it worked out perfectly. And I'm not worried about the spray paint on the ground back here because it will eventually wash away or I can pressure wash it either or. I'm not really worried about this back here too much right now. So let's get these spray painted and see what else we have coming up for you. You are not a friend of me, 
no Baby, you mean more to me, more to me You are not a friend of me, no Baby, you mean more to me So I use the stools, the one stool I put over here by the chair so that we can put a candle on there as well as like a drink or something. So we're using it like a little end table. The other stool I'm going to use it to put a potted plant on top and then if we have people over and there's, you know, people need more seating, I can always remove the potted plant and people can sit on that, sit on the stools. This was such a great deal. Like I said, they were $3.50 a piece. You cannot beat that. I started to spray paint them again, but again, they're black. And so I didn't even feel like they really needed any spray painting. But these are solid wood. They would be a great project if you wanted to sand them down and do them another color or whatever. I think they're perfect and you couldn't beat $3.50 at all. <laughs> couldn't beat it so I am also going to do a little project on the screen door which you'll see momentarily and I do have some lights that I want to put up as well as I did get this little piece of artwork from Burlington you're going to see me hang it up on the wall here shortly and I believe I paid $20 for this I wasn't sure it was going to go with the porch but I just like that it's just the geometric shapes and everything I just like it and it's black and it's wood and I feel like it goes with this little seating area over here so I did hang it up over here and I think it looks really nice So I did spray paint this part of the door and I feel so bad because I thought I was recording but I guess I was not. I did get these faux flowers from, where did I get these from? Oh, Home Goods, guys. They were $8 a piece and I just wanted to add some taller flowers to this vase and I think they look amazing. Really, I do. And they're beautiful. They, they feel so soft. They're like silk flowers. Now, I did get this little tray from Big Lots, and it was $12 for the tray. It is wood. I got the plant from Big Lots as well as this little giraffe. And I am going to hang up these solar panel lights that I got from off of Amazon, which I was shocked because, as you can see, I'm going to put these lights up later on in the day. And I came out here and recorded at night. And they were already lit up and I was really 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 shocked guys really but these lights are so perfect also they have they are shatterproof balls or bulbs I should say that go on the lights so it just made me feel so much better like even if we have like a bad storm or whatever the bulbs are not going to break and be everywhere 
So Kinsley was helping me and she ended up dropping the entire box of bulbs. I thought they were going to break, but again, they are shatterproof and they were fine. They were fine. So I put those all around the entire porch. I ended up getting, I forget the length of the length that I got, but I will leave it down below in my Amazon storefront. And again, it goes the entire length of the porch and I had a little bit extra. That's why I doubled up on some of the areas. So I'm going to add those really quickly and yeah so they were laughing at me they're like mom you play too much but i really wasn't moving my feet guys on here i was being careful i had on tennis shoes they had a rubber sole i wasn't trying to kill myself or injure myself or anything like that so don't come for me in the comments <laughs> Trust my senses, catch me if I fall So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all In loving the for anything, emotional too soon You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right I did get this cream planter from home goods it was $16 and it was an, a nice large size and I just added some of the foam blocks to the planter because I had some more faux plants that I wanted to add or flow faux flowers that I wanted to add to the pot and yes I know I could have went and got the real flowers guys but I don't remember to water them and I just feel like it you know the faux flowers are just fine so these are ferns these are ferns that i ordered off of amazon i think they look beautiful i know they're fake i understand that but they serve its purpose they give me that greenery on the porch i am going to add some of the pea gravel rocks into this um, so that it'll give it more weight but the planter itself is extremely heavy so i don't see that blowing or going anywhere to be honest with you i really don't i feel like it's going to be just fine the other black pots right here, I've had these since last year, I believe. I think I got these from maybe Burlington. I can't remember. But if you look at my last year porch makeover, I'll be able to tell you where I got them from. But I had them since last year. So I added some more of the foam blocks in here. And then I added the pea gravel into these to give it more weight. And these are going to be by the steps so that we can give that pop of color right there.
I have some extra bags of the pea gravel that I got from home what is it home depot a couple weeks ago and I was like you know what I want to I was actually going to go get some of the rocks from the Dollar Tree I know they have like the white rocks or whatever that you can buy but I was like oh no I have those bags of pea gravel let me use them so you see me adding them in here and then I am going to add those to the steps like I said guys because <laughs> I know someone's going to ask my next project is going to be the side yard. So I am going to start working on that. But again, I can only do a little bit at a time, guys. You know, I can't just take like days and weeks and everything to just continue to work. But the side yard is next because I have a bunch of ideas for that. So I'll be getting that together. Like the front part of the yard and the, the grassy area. Anything with grass is next on my list. So again these bags of pea gravel were i think they were five dollars and something per bag i ended up buying 25 bags and i used like 18 bags so i have some left over so that is what i am using right there and then this is the potted plant with the flowers in there that i'm putting on the stool that i got from home goods and the stool that i got from the goodwill and the door again guys i apologize i thought i was recording i taped everything up for you i spray painted kinsley wanted to pull the tape off she said oh mom that's so satisfying so she wanted to pull it off she did fall and get hurt at summer camp on friday so if you're wondering about her band-aids she scraped up her lip her arm her elbow her knee so she had a couple different little areas poor baby so She's been putting Neosporin on it because she said, I hope this is going to be gone by the time my birthday, you know, before, before my birthday comes. Their birthday is July the 1st and we're having a party for their birthday. So she wants to make sure that her, you know, the sores are gone. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to take this tape off and yeah, it just, that screen door pops now, guys. Wait till you see it. It does. It pops so nicely. But yeah, I just spray painted it. I still have spray paint left in that can of spray paint that we used for the lanterns and I was like you know what let me do this really quickly and it turned out great I think it turned out great so that is what I did and again I again I apologize I thought I was recording but I was not So let's take a look at what the porch looked like at the very beginning. Yes, this is what the porch looked like before we got started. Now again, I did paint the window trim black last year and we still had all of the green, the olive green all around that I wanted to get taken care of and get painted. We needed to change out the rugs. We needed to clean the sectional furniture, build the egg chair, paint refresh everything and now for the final reveal and i think it looks absolutely amazing we have the sectional the egg chair the pops of black the beautiful faux flowers that are going to stay the entire summer which i'm so excited for we have lanterns and flowers and the rug and look at the door guys look at the door we got the reef from the goodwill oh my gosh we got artwork out here we have lights i mean i think everything looks so beautiful so fresh so inviting i think it just looks amazing guys i really do and i'm so so thankful i didn't spend a ton of money but i spent enough and I love the way it turned out. Even at night, like last night we came out and we sat outside for a moment at about like, I wanna say it was like 10 o'clock because I wanted to get the look of the porch at night. 
and it looks amazing i'm going to show y'all that very very soon now let's talk about where i got some of these items from so that you understand so again i got the tray the flower and the uh, giraffe from big lots now the candle i got a three pack of gold citronella candles from amazon and i love this that faux plant from big lots it was what 14.99 but i love like the bubble shape of the planter i love that love that i did get this vase from the big lot though from what is it from uh the goodwill guys i love the faux flowers i love the way they look these tan lanterns i got from burlington several several months ago and they were 6.99 a piece and then yes look at that look at that the faux flowers look really nice that was all i wanted was to bring some greenery out and then we have this outdoor rug that i got off of amazon we got the picture here from burlington again it was only 30 dollars, but it has the colors in there that i was looking for and as you can see it ties in so well with the pictures i mean with the with the pillows guys sorry with the pillows i'm not feeling my best right now i feel like i'm getting sick so i apologize but again this is the front of the house right here and we have the flowers with the lanterns leading up to the front door i think i am going to hang up that welcome sign i wasn't sure what to do with the welcome sign guys so that's why it's still there you know things do change here and there but i do love that there is a welcome sign and then at night everything is lit up and look how bright it is i mean it's super bright and I do not even have the citronella candles lit, which would give it a little bit more ambiance. We have these orbs in here that were lit up. But the lights look so nice. They look so nice. I love it. I love it so, so much. The only advice I can give you is that shop your home shop goodwill red white and blue stores facebook market you do not have to spend a ton of money at all whatsoever you do not buy pillow covers and use the old pillows that you have okay you can do that and just buy a couple pieces here and there and you will get your space the way you want it eventually thank y'all so so much for watching i love y'all to the moon and back and I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave me a flower emoji if you've made it to the end. Bye.